Hey Jonathan, it's Josh here from Lindori Dodge and uh, here I just thought maybe I'd do a little video of a Cherokee in the meantime to see a little better idea what they're all about until I get a hold of you. Um, I'm not sure exactly what you're looking for and one in that so I thought I'd show you um, a video of the type I plan on getting here very shortly just to know it pretty well so I thought I'd show you. Uh, awesome vehicles for sure. This one's the Trailer Hawk Edition so it is the off-road one. Um, they are phenomenal off-road by the way, I think they look awesome, but let me tell you a little bit about it. So, this one here has got the larger engine, it's the 3.2 liter Pentastar engine. Pentastar probably being our uh, best engine that we have, I think, for the gas. Anyways, this one's got about 271 horsepower with the 9-speed transmission behind it, so it really helps it out a lot. Got a tow capacity about 4,500 pounds, and they're just nice vehicles. Here you see we have the black decals on it. LED daytimes, projector lights below, fog lights, red tow hooks. Very nice looking wheels. And it's a tread is fantastic off-road as well. Very aggressive. Got the roof rails. Just a nice looking vehicle. But let me go inside here and uh, show you some of the options. So to start, we have our power windows, locks, mirrors, power seats, and these seats, of course, are heated. Um, it comes with cold weather groups, so that includes heated seats, remote start, heated steering wheel. Really cool. All works together. So if it's cold outside and these remote starts, they'll come on automatically. Of course, we've got our automatic headlights down here as well. And one thing you're probably going to notice, we have lots of buttons here on the steering wheel. So these ones right here are just for a center screen. We can go through, say, things like speedometer. Just about everything about the vehicle, uh, tire pressures and everything, different fuel economy, trip info, stop start. So this engine, to get the fuel economy it does, uh, it will actually stop, uh, turn itself off at lights and that. And you wouldn't even notice it unless uh, someone was there to point it out. It's very cool. And if it knows you, would always turn it off. And yeah, just lots of options here. Of course, the screen is customizable as well. Here are Bluetooth controls for hands-free calling, which is super handy. Got our um, a cruise control, and then we have buttons in the back steering wheel here and here. Um, control of stereo, volume, and that. Speaking of stereo, we have Uconnect 8.4 AN. So um, very easy to use, very uh, user friendly. Like you just touch something, and you want to do something, it's going to do something. So here we got the AM, FM, Sirius Satellite Radio. That is a one year subscription for free on it. Got different media options, so we can Bluetooth from our phone music if we want to, SD card, use USB, auxiliary in, whatever works the best. Here are just our controls, so turn on our heated seats or heated steering wheel. Climate control is um, right there. You can also get a dual zone if you want and make it automatic. The GPS, this one has got it, um, designed by Garmin. So if you've ever used a little Garmin GPS, it works exactly the same way and it does work very well. Here are all the buttons, we're doing largely the same things. Right here are our controls and some of our music inputs, I'll show you where the other ones are after. And here's our four wheel drive control. So Jeep takes its four wheel drive pretty seriously, especially with the Trailhawk edition. So here we can kind of shift between our different modes that we're using, depending what we're doing with it. I'll tell you up here when we've gone to it. But more important are these buttons right here. So four wheel drive low, for if you're really towing something or you're doing some slow speed off-roading. Got tilt descent control, and here is the rear diff lock. So diff locks, certainly not something you find on most four wheel drives even. Um, I think the only vehicle that off road better than this one would be the top of the line Rubicon Wrangler. Um, but diff lock works very well. Here's our nine speed automatic I was talking about. Electronic park brake. Other cool thing, got some more storage underneath this seat. And a dual glove box. So there's one, there's the other, with yet another input if you want to play iPod or phone or something. Now one feature this one doesn't have is a panoramic sunroof that's a little over twice the size of a normal one. So it starts here, goes all the way back. Another thing I don't know is if you have any kids or not, but if you do, there is lots of space back here for sure. Like I'm not the smallest person in the world, but no problem getting in here. Nice cup holder rest. Rubber floor mats do come with three remote stir in that as well. Definitely a good option to get. 
And of course these seats do fold flat as well. So if we go right to the back, that's where our backup camera is. And you see we have lots of storage space back here for sure. Of course we've got a little pockets here and here as well. 12 volt. But anyway, Jonathan, um, if you do have any questions about Jeeps or you want to see a different one, absolutely let me know. You get a hold of me at 780-473-6388. I'm here almost all the time. Or you just send me an email and I'll do a video of that one as well. Anyways, I hope to hear from you soon. Have a great day. Bye.